FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red. I mean, the only thing that is green on my uh, top portion of my charts is the U.S. dollar index and the uh, Japanese uh, yen out here. So you got the Dow off 287 points, S&P down 41, NASDAQ off 144, Russell down 24, semis off 40. That's eight tenths, one tenths, the one and a quarter, one and a quarter for the Russell, one and a half percent for the semis out there. Spot volatility is trading well above its 50-day exponential moving average. It's trading out at 26.84. Gold is back 13 bucks at 7.36. Silver's off 37 at 1829. Light crude crude back 375, trade net 9327. Natural gas off 36 cents. Basically, everything is trading to the downside. Let's go try to figure out what all that means out here. If we take a look at our nine panel market update chart, we begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. The ES Mini today forms bar number eight of a TD9 count. That says we should get a TD9 count bottom by Thursday out there. If we take a look at that spot volatility, again, above that 50 day, which is at 2388. You've got the one to one completion of the NQs, A to B equals CD to the downside. A bullish reversal candle would confirm A by the D point. Today is bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says if the TD9s are going to identify a bottom inside the NQs, that should take place between today and tomorrow. U.S. dollar index just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's got resistance at the top of that profile, 109.20. If Goldilocks closes below 17.40.20, you'll have an A to B equal CD to the downside with the first price projection of 16.94. Watch 17.40.20 today. Silver is gunning back and testing its July 14th low. That low out there is at the, um, come on, is at 18.17. Oh, it's right there in front of my face. 18.17. Price closes below that, silver's got some real problems. Lightweight crude just consolidating with inside its uh, profiles out here, the top of which is, or the center, I should say, is the uh, 97.82. That's the center of its weekly profile. And that's the area that's struggling to clear. In the case of natural gas, which has a TD9 count top, if price closes below $8.83, expect to run down to $8.22. So the 30-year treasury right now, trading below the bottom of its daily profile, it'll need to close below 135.14 to suggest it's got problems in River City. So folks, it is 11.02, and if the market has bottom, it's bottom basically almost right now. That's based upon those 30-minute charts, and we'll take a look at their TD9s as soon as we get that Trader's Edge show going. So if you're out to start your day, have a terrific Tuesday. Otherwise, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. Take care, folks. The reality 